bring Kemba forty thousand. And they went to Peter. Peter said, "Hey, this is the money that we sold our land for the, and six thousand dollars." And Peter said, "Is that so?" He said, "Yes." And Peter said, because you have told her against the Holy Spirit, you didn't tell her against me. This man fell dead. He fell dead. Because you told lie against the Holy Spirit. And the youth standing by, he carried the body away. Shortly after that, his wife came. Zafira, his wife came. She didn't, she didn't know that the other one had been taken away dead. And Peter answered her, tell me whether you sold the land so much. And she said, yea, for so much. Because she had to say the same thing that she and her husband could not to say. Then Peter said unto her, how is it that you have agreed together to tempt the spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them which have buried her husband are at the door and shall carry thee out. She fell down and died. She too fell down and died. Their mouth condemned them. Peter said, when the whole money was one hundred thousand dollars, was it not your own? Did anybody force you? So we must be very careful how we use our mouth. We must never follow our friends in doing what they consider to be the latest fashion. Swearing, cursing, and insulting others. It is so alarming the rate at which you hear our elders, our mothers, even our college youths nowadays swearing, even in normal conversation with them. Let the world see us as different from them. We don't belong to the world. We are not given our lives to Christ. And hence, we should abstain from all those vices of the world now considered as fashion. I used to swear myself, but not heavy swearing, but there's no small one. <laughs> but my reverend never let me off the hook until I stopped swearing myself. So let us stop swearing. Our Lord Jesus Christ had this to say in Matthew. 12, 31 to 32. We are for ourselves to you. All manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaks a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaks against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Please, brethren, please, our children, let us rededicate our lives with everything that is holy. As commanded us in Romans 13, 10 to 14, love, work no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we were believers. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the work of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting or drunkenness, not in shivering and wantonness. Not in strife and ending, but put you on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the loss thereof. May the good Lord bless us and let the seeds which have been sown today find fertile ground in our hearts. Amen. Let us pray. Oh Lord, I know that you are waiting here for us to let you come into our life. I know that you are knocking on the door and now I pray that you will enter in. We pray that you will come into our lives 
as Lord and Savior ruling over us, we know that you are truly the Son of God. We know that you are risen from the dead. We know that only you can save our souls. We seek your guidance and we seek your love. We want to follow everywhere you lead. We truly do repent of our sins. We feel remorse for evil we have done. We turn our back on sin and look to you. We are forgiven all who did us harm. We pray that you will likewise now forgive. And now, as we commit ourselves to you, we pray that you commit yourself to us. In Jesus' holy name, we pray. Amen. 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 May God bless you all. Amen. Amen.